all right so um ifa has now changed the pattern for cb1 and cb2 they have introduced oba based questions so basically it's objective based assessment wherein you will be getting all the objective type questions you will not be getting any kind of short or long questions which are just objective questions like which we used to have four marker or six marker question we will be having complete objective based questions now it's not only mcqs that we'll be dealing with we'll be dealing with very different types of questions all right so here they have released one sample i think it's been 5 6 months that they have re uh, released this particular uh, sample paper for cb2 so they have done that for cb1 as well now cb2 we'll be discussing they have released 11 questions over here we'll be discussing these 11 questions today what type of pattern you can expect uh from ifa in your examination and they haven't clearly mentioned but it might be possible that it might be proctored it's not very much uh sure now 100% but something like that and they'll be having a maybe defined portal uh for this particular examination which because it involves uh certain type of functionalities which is not available in ms word all right so it might be possible that you will be getting a proper portal wherein you will be giving this cb2 examination not duration we do not know consider it to be 3 hours 15 minutes itself marks is definitely 100 marks paper syllabus remains the same there is no change in the syllabus syllabus is exactly what we have done all right so let's discuss few 11 type questions um, now here 6 to 7 different type of patterns are given with different examples uh, we'll discuss this and then uh, we are making questions similar to these kind of questions which we have over here now mcq questions we have already ample mcq questions with us from past papers so that's not an issue but when we talk about drag and drop and we'll have assertive reasoning questions and there are multi different type of questions so it needs practice to solve these kind of questions you cannot just straight away go and solve this in your exam unless you have practiced them right one thing which is very very important is the syllabus and since the exam has become objective based so again it is also at the same time very very important that you all understand the concept more clearly and it should be crystal clear i am not asking you to memorize everything obviously but whatever you study should be crystal clear if you have any doubt in any place in any particular concept feel free to ask because now they will focus on these very thin lines they can take lines from anywhere in the paper in the uh, and they can ask you questions from that so it's very important that you understand the concept again very nicely so it is all the more important to read the compiler read the material very very nicely again the most important out of these so basically again let's just see multiple choice multiple response numerical and you have assertive reasoning uh, drag and drop assertive reasoning is the most important as what i have and true and false questions assertive and reasoning is the most important and again very difficult to understand there are three steps to it so i have discussed it properly towards the end so i want all of you all to just go through it all right okay so let's start with these few questions we have already started making these questions um and uh, we have made a lot of questions already what i am planning to do is we'll release all these questions or maybe whatever we have made uh in the month of december uh maybe in mid of december uh and then obviously the process will be continuing we'll be making more questions it is actually a little difficult to make questions uh, out of these kind of questions but we are trying we'll be releasing the questions in december mid approximately and then after that it will be a continuous process we'll be re releasing more questions all right uh, as and when we are making it um again we'll be having a proper mock portal as you already have in that we'll be putting up all the questions so what i'll like i'll give you all a reminder that we have updated uh, this particular chapter or we have updated uh, these many questions 20 questions 50 questions so the, this is the time which i have allotted i will decide on the time first i will you know check uh, i'll uh, give the test uh, and then i'll see what time i have takes uh, taking to solve the question accordingly i'll give you all time and that in that particular time bound manner you'll have to appear for the mock 
all right so i'll be making a lot of questions don't worry it will be more than 200 questions that we'll be making we are actually making a lot of questions and we'll be uploading in the mock portal all right so till then all of you are asking me what to do you have to obviously read the compiler nicely you have to because the syllabus is not completed obviously so you have to focus on that and along with that whatever questions we've had the mcq questions from the past papers which we have in the compiler and uh, and the short and the long questions it's very important that you practice that as well now why it is important to practice long and short questions because unless you practice that you'll not be able to again come back and answer these directly you'll understand that what uh, the quality of the short and long questions which we used to have are very amazing very application based questions are there so you have to solve those and then obviously once we release the questions you will be solving them so there is no end to question solving there is no end but definitely you have to study properly before you start appearing for the mocks right so now let us quickly come back to this so this is the pdf if you all want i will also share the link with you all um let me just share it in the chat box for the time being later on i can share it uh, you might have also those who are ifo members you might have received uh, this mail i think uh, in the month of maybe june or something uh, not exactly sure i am pasting it in the chat box now okay all right so the first is multiple choice which we are accustomed to so complete the following sentence here you have four options out of these four options any one is correct okay is my screen visible i'll just zoom it in okay let's read the question so this is a multiple choice question any one will be the correct answer So, uh, some senior tranches red seed so you might also see some of the questions which you we haven't completed yet because we are still uh in the micro portion we have finished micro portion we are starting with macro so no ways i just in today's class want to discuss different types of questions so even if you are not getting the answers it's completely fine because this deals with chapter uh, which you haven't covered yet so now let's read the first one senior some senior tranches of cdo cdo r collateralized debt obligations were given a high credit score a high credit score by credit rating agencies before the global financial crisis because it was expected that any one of the following so basically this is a part of securitization we haven't uh, covered it yet till yet in the classes no problem so any one of this is the answer so basically cdo are securities not exactly like bonds but you can consider it some it's a packaged bond basically it's a packaged security which has got a very high credit score from a credit rating agency credit rating agencies you might have heard about standard and poor moody's all these are different credit rating agencies so they have received a very good uh, credit uh, score before the global financial crisis because it was expected that any one of the following so those who know can just quickly answer it in the chat box okay very good shantini she has given the correct answer so let's read the options quickly it is not going to be very simple they would only offer relatively low interest rates if something is offering you low interest rate that does not mean that it will give you a high credit score okay they would be purchased by sovereign sovereign wealth funds are basically government one funds local government central bank so these uh, central government local government they also invest their money some place right so if they are investing in a particular security obviously they will be investing in a very good security right so this is your sovereign wealth funds they would be backed up by diversified range of assets this is actually the definition of cdo collateralized debt security obligations are basically security uh, securities which are backed up by many different uh, assets right so this is def definitely a, uh, one of the reasons they would be accepted by large financial institutions this is not always the case that even if it is accepted by a very large institution it will give you a high credit rating so obviously here my answer is c 
okay for those who have done it my uh, shantini has given the correct answer very good shantini clear so why see because of now here definitely this is not very good reason now how to answer mcq questions generally use the elimination approach when you are not sure about the question you can straight away apply el elimination that okay if it is accepted by a financial institution that does not necessarily mean that it will give you a high credit score financial institutions can invest in something which is not very high rated okay or maybe if it is offering low interest rate that does not mean because gen generally if it is offering low interest rate just like government bonds treasury bills this offer us low interest rates right and that is why they are very highly rated but it's vice versa these are very highly rated and that is why they are giving you the riskiness is very low and that is why you are getting a low return out of it because the risk is very low but this is not the reason that it will be highly rated right so again these two are likely options but again it is not always true that if any government is investing in a particular investment it will give you a high credit score no so this is clearly the definition of a cdo because it is a diversified portfolio that's why it gives us a high credit score next question so again similar we have a uh, multiple choice question now but here we have a multiple choice question with data so they they have just given some data this is also something which we have done in past N nothing new we have dealt with these kind of questions quickly this is a very important good question i think all of you can do this we have covered this in the classes we have cov covered a similar kind of question sometime back we were discussing in one of the sums class quickly read so the table below shows the profits of two firms and they set their prices at 20 or 15 so there is a high price and a low price okay and this is the payoff table which is given to us this is the profitability so this is the x is price this is y price if both are setting high price they are earning 20 million each if both are setting low price they are earning 16 million each if um b if x is setting up 15 and why is setting the price as 20 then this is what they are earning so in case of this is a uh, basically a prisoner's dilemma kind of a question let's quickly solve this what can be the answer you all can reply in the chat box hmm now read the question select the outcome which will occur if two firms independently so they are not colluding it's a duopoly situation there are two firms set their prices based upon their own self interest so how to approach this question for example if we say let's talk about x let's talk about x if x is setting up 20 as the price then what will be good for y wherever the profit is high here for y here the profitability is higher 24 so he will set 15 as the price if x is setting up so what is duopoly you see what the other firm is doing what has what the what the other firm has done in past and accordingly we set the price hai na so we consider that the person who has set 15 rupees last month will again will again set a 15 rupees in this month so accordingly i will act hai na so here we have 15 rupees 15 pounds set by x then i will set what i am getting 16 here and 10 here so i will choose this because i am earning more so for me it is 15 always so 15 is my dominant strategy remember dominant strategy similarly since the table is symmetrical if you do the same thing for x for x also 15 will be the dominant strategy clear so my answer is what 16 million for each very good vishaka we have done this question in the last class right right so this is a what nash equilibrium this is a nash equilibrium both of them se setting the price at 15 each and they are not willing to move away from this they don't have any incentive to move away from this particular price unless they collude if they collude they would have set it as a okay all right done very simple these two kind of questions we have already done before now this is something new 
this is a numerical entry so obviously they will be evaluating on your numerical skills calculate elasticity and all these so they've given you a very nice table and here you can actually input your answer over here so you will be given the keyboard and here actually if i just uh, maybe i can actually input it over here right let me just see actually i have downloaded it in the pdf format so you can actually click on here and you can type your answer okay read the question quickly and it's mentioned that enter a whole number so they are not asking you to put it in points maybe there is no option to uh, click on points maybe something like that but you can click on it and you can type those who are using the link once try please i think you all can do that let's read the question quickly so in the table below if the capital increased from 10 to this is the units of capital if it is increased from 10 to 15 units and the labor is increased from 6 to 9 units calculate the this is increased from 6 to 9 <clears throat> calculate the missing value x so this is the missing value x for the output where you are having a constant returns to scale what is constant returns to scale firstly it is a long run or a uh, short run concept returns to scale long run concept okay so in the long run both your inputs are changing capital and labor okay now here what do we see it's a constant returns to scale so the proportionate change in your input will be same as proportionate change in your output very good so what is the proportionate change that we are getting when we are moving from 10 to 15 it is 1.5x so basically there is a 50% change 15 minus 10 divided by you can calculate it 15 minus 10 divided by 10 gives you a 50% change similarly when you are moving from 6 to 9 give, gives you 50% change because obviously all the units will change in same proportion okay that is how what you talk about and then here also because it's a constant returns to scale it should change by 50% So what is fifty percent of? So basically, if I just calculate this x, x minus one fifty divided by one fifty should give me what? Fifty percent. So what should be x? What should be x? Very good, Shantini. Ab uh, others, what should be your x? Ayush. <coughs> Clear? Are you all getting this? So it should be. very good 225 should be your answer so now you can click on this and you will input the answer this is how so the portal will also change it will not be in ms word they haven't completely talked about this but this is what i am uh, you know uh thinking it off to be because obviously you cannot uh use this particular thing in your word right that's the thing okay so now um can we move to the next one so this was a numerical entry kind of a question they might give you some numericals and they will ask you to answer though now here you just have one numerical just to find this x they might give you find x and y they will also give some y somewhere or the other okay and they will uh, give you two boxes to answer right something like that so this is again there let's talk about multiple response now this is again something new we have done multiple choice multiple choice is out of four or five options any one is correct here more than one option is correct here more than one option is correct so let's read what is the effect of an increase in the consumers income on the supply and demand of cars okay increase in consumers income वो हाथ से ऑलरेडी ग्राफ बनाना स्टार्ट कर दिए तुम पेन पेपर यूज कर सकते हैं ठीक है सो सिलेक्ट टू करेक्ट ऑप्शंस नाउ नो वन विल रिप्लाई आई विल आस्क जानवी जानवी रिप्लाई इन द चैट बॉक्स व्हाट विल बी द आंसर व्हाट आर द टू करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट सो बेसिकली यू कैन टिक एनी टू ओवर योर यू कैन सिलेक्ट एनी टू सो दिस इज अ मल्टीपल रिस्पॉन्स नॉट अ मल्टीपल चॉइस ओके इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ टू रीड द क्वेश्चन क्लियरली ठीक है एक गलती और सब गया ठीक है 
and zaruri nahi that for all these questions it will be a one mark question obviously we used to have 1.5 marks for one mcq right so the numerical choice can be of uh, the numerical type question can be of two mark this can be of two marks you know so they the marks is again not disclosed yet but uh, you might get more than two marks some questions can be of three mark also वेरी गुड जानवी सो शी हैज रिप्लाइड अ रॉन्ग आंसर रॉन्ग बोला है तुमने गलत बोला है बाकी सब गलत ही बोला है सोच समझ के भी गलत बोला है तुमने शायद फॉल्स देख के बोल दिया है इनक्रीज लेट्स मेक अ ग्राफ चलो तुम बताओ कैसा आपको बनेगा ग्राफ ध्रूव ये मेरा ओरिजिनल है चलो ठीक है तो ये तुम्हारा क्या है अरे अब बताओ इंक्रीज इन कंज्यूमर्स इनकम एंड इट्स अ कार इट्स अ नॉर्मल गुड सो डिमांड शुड शिफ्ट टू द राइट है ना शिफ्ट टू द राइट अब इसके वजह से क्या क्या होगा दिस इज द न्यू प्राइस एंड न्यू क्वांटिटी दिस वाज पुराना वाला सो बोथ प्राइस एंड ये बनाना भी नहीं था increase in consumers income increases demand and demands ha demand has a upward pressure on price theek okay? hai we have done this i have taught you all d increase a p increase s increase p and yahan pe it will obviously increase ye same directional hota hai or this is same directional this is opposite directional i have taught you all this theek okay? hai chalo so select any two vishaka has given the correct answer <coughs> आयुष रॉन्ग फॉल इन कार प्राइस तो नहीं होगा भाई शिफ्ट इन डिमांड कर्व इज डेफिनेटली करेक्ट शिफ्ट इन सप्लाई कर्व नो देर इज नो शिफ्ट मूवमेंट अलॉन्ग नो मूवमेंट ओनली हैपन्स वेन देर इज अ चेंज इन प्राइस राइट मूवमेंट अलॉन्ग द सप्लाई कर्व ऑब्वियसली देर इज अ मूवमेंट अलॉन्ग द सप्लाई कर्व देर इज अ मूवमेंट अलॉन्ग द सप्लाई कर्व सो बी एंड ई अब लगता था ना एम सी क्यू में दो सही है यहाँ पे अब किसी को सही नहीं आ रहा दो अब सबने एक एक आंसर किया है अब नहीं लग रहा दो सही और जब चार में से एक सेलेक्ट करने बोलते हैं तब लगता है यार ये दोनों सही है और यहाँ नहीं लग रहा दो सही यहाँ लग रहा है कि एक ही सही है ठीक है वेरी गुड विशा का सो मल्टीपल रिस्पॉन्स ओके यू माइट गेट मोर देन टू ऑल्सो यहाँ पे इन्होंने बोला है सिलेक्ट टू दे माइट से सिलेक्ट मोर देन वन करेक्ट ऑप्शन अब मोर देन वन तो और ट्रिकी है भाई दो भी सही हो सकते हैं तीन भी सही हो सकते हैं दैट्स मोर ट्रिकी बट योर देव क्लियरली स्टेटेड टू टू ऑप्शन ऑल राइट अगेन अ मल्टीपल रिस्पॉन्स क्वेश्चन चलो कर ही लेते हैं सब कर रहे हैं तो क्यों स्किप करें दिस इज समथिंग विच आई थिंक आप लोगों ने नहीं किया अभी तक दिस इज माइक्रो पोर्शन आप लोगों ने नहीं किया चलो लेट्स रीड जो भी किए हैं बाकी सब द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ अ कंट्री इज कंसिडरिंग परसुइंग सप्लाई साइड पॉलिसी to simulate the economic growth supply side policies aap logon ne nahi kiya to just a brief idea kya hota hai dhruv tumne kiya hai research development production side increase or wo sab correct independent of demand theek hai okay so which three again kitna acha sile bol diya hai par exam mein one aayega select more than one थ्री टू नहीं बोलेंगे सिलेक्ट मोर देन वन बोलेंगे तो सिलेक्ट थ्री ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पॉलिसीज आर मोस्ट लाइकली टू बी कंसिडर्ड अब चलो एक एक करके देखते हैं सबसे पहला क्या बोला है इंक्रीजिंग नेशनल पेंशन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन फॉर एम्प्लॉयर्स ये हमने पढ़ा था अगर हम एम्प्लॉ नेशनल पेंशन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन फॉर एम्प्लॉयर्स क्या होता है आई एम एन एम्प्लॉयर यू आर एन एम्प्लॉय तो हम लोग का एक पेंशन स्कीम होता है जहाँ पे मैं कंट्रीब्यूट करती हूँ तुम भी कंट्रीब्यूट करते हो एज एन एम्प्लॉय सो इफ माय कंट्रीब्यूशन इज इंक्रीजिंग हाउ इट विल इफेक्ट द सप्लाई साइड नहीं होगा भाई मेरा तो कंट्रीब्यूशन इसमें चला गया मेरा तो प्रोडक्टिविटी और फॉल होगा तो ये तो उल्टा होना चाहिए है ना बिकॉज आई विल नॉट बी एबल टू एम्प्लॉय मोर वर्कर्स मे बी मेरा कंस्ट्रेंस आ जाएगा कॉस्ट कंस्ट्रेंस आ जाएगा तो ये तो नहीं है उसके बाद इंक्रीजिंग अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट बेनिफिट्स उल्टा ये भी नहीं होगा अगर मैं अनएम्प्लॉय जो पीपल हुआ आर अनएम्प्लॉयड अगर मैं उनको बेनिफिट्स दे रही हूँ वो अनएम्प्लॉयड ही रहेंगे क्यों काम करेंगे बैठ के खाना मिल रहा है अपग्रेडिंग रोड एंड इंटरनेट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर आ गया यहाँ पे तो ऑब्वियसली दिस इज वन ऑफ द ऑप्शन ठीक है रिड्यूसिंग द इनकम टैक्स 
इफ द इनकम टैक्स इज रिड्यूस्ड यू विल बी एनकरेज अरे मैं और काम करती हूँ ताकि क्या होगा मुझे और इनकम मिलेगा गवर्नमेंट को नहीं देना उसमें से और यूजुअली हमने पढ़ा था ये चीज़ अगर इनकम टैक्स का ये एक नेगेटिव एस्पेक्ट होता है इफ यू आर इंक्रीजिंग द इनकम टैक्स रेट देन वट हैपन्स देर इज ऑलवे ऑल्सो रेवेन्यू ऑफ गवर्नमेंट इज इंक्रीजिंग बट देर इज ऑल्सो अ नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट ऑन पीपल्स प्रोडक्टिविटी दे विल थिंक दे विल नाउ सेव और दे विल हैव मोर लेजर टाइम दैन वर्क टाइम क्योंकि और काम करके वी हैव टू वील गेट मोर वील हैव टू पे मोर टू द गवर्नमेंट वाई विल आई डू दैट ठीक है सो दैट्स अगेन वन ऑफ द पॉइंट्स increasing money supply and cut uh, this is is this a supply side policy interest rate is a supply this is a demand side policy monetary policy monetary policy kahan aata tha fiscal and monetary theek hai this is not the case wahi hai na ye nahi hai sahi reducing corporation tax again the same thing theek hai business tax basically jaisa aap log mano so we have the three correct options with us money supply cutting interest rate this is your supply side policy sorry demand side policy to ye to nahi aayega theek hai is this clear multiple choice questions multiple response jahan pe ek se zyada correct answer true and false favorite so again you have uh, basically uh, either it's true or it's false i think me uh, i always consider true and false type of questions to be the most difficult questions because you are actually when you read a sentence when you read a line normally you will consider it to be okay it's false it's true but when you are in the exam scenario na true bhi false lagta hai false bhi true lagta hai so i think it is the most difficult part true and false mujhe at least i consider it to be a little difficult a little tricky यहाँ पे दे कैन गिव यू गुड क्वेश्चन लेट्स रीड नाउ रीड द क्वेश्चन ओके सो अ स्मॉल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी स्टेशन यूजेज ऑयल टू जेनरेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ऑयल इज द वेरिएबल इनपुट इन टू द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो ऑयल इज वेरिएबल इनपुट सो वी हैव किलो लीटर्स ऑफ ऑयल एंड वी हैव यूनिट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द इनपुट जस्ट लाइक लेबर and this is the output okay the table below shows the unit of electricity generated per kiloliter of oil clear which of the following statement is true is r true so you have to find true kyaat karo mere sath kya hota tha false true mein when we used to discuss sums if it is false we used to take true meaning भूल जाते हैं ना तो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि ये रीड कर लें दैट दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्रू ऑलवेज जस्ट ट्राई टू फोकस ऑन दिस इट माइट बी फॉल्स एज वेल तो वो गलती मत करना लेट्स रीड द पार्ट्स नाउ द एवरेज फिजिकल प्रोडक्ट इंक्रीजेस विथ ईच किलो लीटर सो दिस इज योर टोटल प्रोडक्ट कैन यू फाइंड आउट एवरेज प्रोडक्ट एज वेल निकालो निकाल सकते हो निकालो एक बार हंड कैसे निकाल रहे हो दिस डिवाइड बाय दिस दिस इज टीपी बाय क्यू क्यू एल लेबर वेरिएबल जो भी ओके टू वन ट्वेंटी वन थर्टी so it's increasing so it's increasing this is true this is true ye mat dekho abhi just mark true and false and then come to the options agar aapko confusion ho raha then only come to the options sometimes what we feel is that i don't know ye true hai ki false hai and then we come and see acha kya ho sakta hai alternatives right so okay the average and the marginal physical product peak at 5 kilo liter so basically ap and mp are highest at 5 so here nahi 150 do we have to find out in mp now do we have to find out mp nahi ap pe to false ho gaya it's not highest at 150 it is highest at 155 considering the schedule 
so why are you wasting time finding mp not required we have to save time so false marginal physical product shows only increasing returns per kiloliter of oil increasing returns yahan pe pata chalega hame increasing returns is a long run concept so you also need a fixed input we don't have any kind of fixed input yahan pe and chalo nikal lete mp ek baar nikal hi lo increasing returns mein mp is always increasing how to find mp change in your tp by change in your लेबर यहाँ पे हमारा इलेक्ट्रिसिटी है चलो निकालो सो चेंज ये ऑलवेज वन है है ना सो दिस इज अगेन हंड्रेड यहाँ पे इट्स नॉट जीरो यूजुअली हम डैश देते हैं बिकॉज इट्स अनडिटरमाइंड फिर वन फोर्टी वन फिफ्टी so नहीं now it's decreasing so यहाँ तक it's increasing but then it's decreasing so this is again false in case of increasing returns it should always be increasing अच्छा यहाँ पे increasing returns तो scale नहीं बोला है so long run short run का नहीं increasing returns है ठीक है क्या concept था वो क्या word था Why? Why does it start to fall with additional unit? Can anyone just reply in the chat box? वो क्या word हम लोग use करते थे? हाँ. किसी ने hand raise किया क्या? Additional unit of labour will now lead to reduction in your output added. Marginal productivity of labour decreases. Very good Vishaka. Diminishing returns to scale बोलते हैं नहीं एक सेकेंड स्केल ये क्या बोल रही है गलत Diminishing returns to scale नहीं but हाँ तो basically marginal productivity of लेबर decreases ठीक है when your fixed cost when your fixed input is constant when it is fixed and you are increasing your uh, variable factor then at some point your quantity will start to additional quantity will start to decrease why because the marginal productivity of labor decreases theek hai all right iska humne explanation bhi we have done ha crowding out ho jata hai fixed factor same hai so it leads to crowding out, uh, crowding in fact okay but uh, returns to scale galat bola scale concept is a long run concept theek hai next so now we have true and false done acha answer humne kiya Only one first वाला true है so this is true. A only one. Now suppose if I am confused that this is true, for example, तो अब इसको कैसे कर सकते हैं देखो one and two only है तो two तो हम sure है one and three तो है ही नहीं so हाँ ठीक है चलो false है Now this is drop down fill in the blanks. So again they have given a complete sentence and you have a drop option यहाँ पे देखो You have two options. You have to select any one. Clear? Interesting. Hai. Mazedar. So now let's read. Economies A and B are identical. Are identical other than their marginal propensity to consume. M P C is different, and elasticity of investment demand. ठीक है इन्वेस्टमेंट डिमांड इन्वेस्टमेंट डिमांड का इलास्टिसिटी इज डिफरेंट सो इंटरेस्ट रेट वाला कॉन्सेप्ट इंटरेस्ट रेट अगर सो दिस यू वी हैव इन कवर्ड अभी तक नहीं हुआ है मे बी शांतनी यू हैव कंप्लीटेड दिस सो इन इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट डिमांड इन्वेस्टमेंट डिमांड कब इंक्रीज होते हैं वेन द इंटरेस्ट इज लो If interest rates are low, companies will invest more. They will take loan and they will do investments, है ना सो उसका इलास्टिसिटी इज डिफरेंट एम पी सी मार्जिनल प्रोपेंसिटी टू कंज्यूम अडिशनल कंजम्पन दैट यू आर मेकिंग विथ वन यूनिट इंक्रीज इन योर इनकम है ना सो दैट इज डिफरेंट फॉर द टू इकोनॉमीज 
now read the question if money supply is increased so if money supply is increased if money supply is increased in the two economies by the same amount the economy with the dash marginal propensity to consume and more dash investment demand will have a dash in the output so basically ek baar dekho kya kya options hain first because without options aap are ek second ek second ek second meko abhi hmm so if the money supply is increased in the two economies by the same amount the economy with a lower or a higher marginal propensity to consume and more elastic or inelastic investment demand will have a smaller increase or decrease in output try karo those who have done this एक सेकेंड रुको एक सेकेंड रुको एक सेकेंड रुको सो यू कैन जस्ट सिलेक्ट ना ऐसे हाँ ओके सो इन द टू इकोनॉमीज आर द सेम द इकोनॉमी विद द लो अगर मार्जिनल प्रोपेंसिटी टू कंज्यूम लो है सो इवन इफ योर इनकम इज इंक्रीजिंग इवन इफ योर इनकम इज इंक्रीजिंग विल यू कंज्यूम मोर नो बट यहाँ पे इनकम का बात नहीं है मनी सप्लाई का बात है सो इफ मनी सप्लाई इज इंक्रीज बाई सेम द इकोनॉमी विद द लोअर marginal propensity to consume and more what elastic in elastic shantini has given the correct answer in elastic very good sorry in elastic in elastic select nahi ho raha ha नहीं कर सकते हैं चेंज ओ वन टाइम है नहीं ऐसा होना नहीं चाहिए बट आई कैन नॉट सिलेक्ट दिस एनी मोर हाँ कुछ बग होगा एक्चुअली मैंने पीडीएफ के फॉर्म में इसको किया है ना हाँ इनलास्टिक हो गया ठीक है ओके so in the two economies of same same amount agar money supply is increased by the same amount then the economy with the lower marginal propensity to consume and more inelastic investment demand will have a smaller increase in output smaller increase bola hai नहीं समझा क्योंकि ऑब्वियसली मनी सप्लाई इंक्रीज हो रहा है इफ माई मार्जिनल प्रोपेंसिटी इज टू कंज्यूम इज लेस सो आई विल नॉट स्पेंड मोर दिस इज वन थिंग अनदर थिंग इफ इट इज इन इलास्टिक इन्वेस्टमेंट डिमांड सो पीपल आर नॉट इवन इफ मनी सप्लाई इज इंक्रीजिंग पीपल आर नॉट रेडीली गोइंग एंड इन्वेस्टिंग बिकॉज इट्स इन इलास्टिक सो ऑब्वियसली आउटपुट विल इंक्रीज बाय अ लोअर अमाउंट सो स्मॉलर इंक्रीज इन आउटपुट वेरी गुड शांति इज दिस क्लियर so again you can have these kind of questions so it's basically what fill in the blanks hi ho gaya but with the options aisa nahi ki it's without the option you have the options present over here you can select any one you might also have more than two options over here it's not necessary that always you will get two options you can have more than two options as well clear okay okay so generally fill in the blanks difficult ho jate hain if you don't have the option ऑब्वियसली ना अगर यू इफ यू वुडन हैव द ऑप्शन यहाँ पे इट वुड हैव बिकम वेरी डिफिकल्ट बट ऑब्वियसली वो बच्चों को आता था वैसे रट के वो जाते थे सो दिस इज समथिंग विच दे हैव गिवन वेर इन यू कैन सिलेक्ट एनी ऑफ द ऑप्शन एंड सो इट्स बेसिकली ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप भी हो गया फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स भी हो गया ओके नेक्स्ट नॉट एग्जैक्टली ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप बट ड्रॉप डाउन फीचर यू कैन सिलेक्ट एनी वन सो अगेन यू नीड द पोर्टल यहाँ पे सो लेट्स रीड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन it is matching match the following or something kind of drag and drop jahan pe aate aise aap match the following karte the bachpan mein so in the context of circular flow of income circular flow of income yaad hai okay match each descriptor descriptor to the term that best describes it so what this is the description of the term given over here 
you have to match it no term may be used more than once so each term will be used once each term will be used once so let's see the government pays benefit to unemployed the government pays benefits to the unemployed is this same as equilibrium injections withdrawals ठीक है ध्रुव सिंह इन दोनों में से एक हो सकता है ऐसा लग सकता है हमें कि ये दोनों में से एक है तो अभी के लिए कुछ नहीं करें आगे बढ़े लेट्स रीड द सेकंड वन मे बी टुवर्ड्स दी एंड वी कैन एक चीज यहाँ पे वी हैव फोर डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड यहाँ पे वी हैव फाइव सो दिस इज द थिंग विच दे डू ऑलवेज दे मेक इट मोर डिफिकल्ट शांतनी हैज गिवन द क्वेश्चन आंसर लीडर ऑन आई चेक सो हाउस होल्ड पे फॉर्म्स फॉर गुड्स एंड फॉर्म्स पे हाउस होल्ड सैलरीज एंड डिविडेंट Is this equilibrium? ऐसा कुछ पता नहीं चल रहा equilibrium है Is this injection? No, because this deals with both. Households होता था If you all remember, there were circular flow में inner flow होता है and outer flow होता है Inner flow में there is only firm and household. है ना If firms is uh, so basically household labor provide करता है Household provides labor to the firm. Firm provides you salary. and then again um uh, we is uh, pay them um for the services and they gives us they give us goods and services theek hai to wo pura so this is the inner flow so kind of inner flow lag raha hai mujhe what do you think transfer payments withdrawal is sab to kuch nahi bacha ye ye char to bacha hi nahi all these four options are nowhere here vishaka is also saying inner flow so can we drop this drag and drop mm hmm is there any option nahi mere paas nahi aa raha maybe in the portal you might get it do you all have the option when you click on the link Shh. when you all click on the link do you have the option to drag and drop let's do one thing for the time being let's just quickly match this to ye ho gaya aapka inner flow okay next option the government spends money on domestic law uh you might i think be able to drop now isko drop karke idhar ha possible uh the government spends money on domestic law enforcement schools etc very good this is injection government expenditure गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर क्या हो गया तुमको इंजेक्शन हाउस होल्ड सेव मनी इंस्टेड ऑफ बाइंग सेविंग हाउस होल्ड सेविंग इज अट्रॉल अब पता चल गया सो नाउ यू नो दिस इज ट्रांसफर पेमेंट इक्विलिब्रियम तो है ही नहीं दिस वॉज द कन्फ्यूजन क्लियर सो यू माइट गेट एन ऑप्शन इफ यू क्लिक ऑन द लिंक यू माइट गेट एन ऑप्शन टू ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप मे बी पी डी एफ में नहीं आ रहा ये चीज ऑप्शन नहीं आ रहा इज दिस क्लियर so these are the terms and this is the descriptor similar again a match and uh, match drag and drop kind of a question but yahan pe it's a little different you have cause and so similar consequence so let's read in the question <clears throat> an indifference curve kaisa hota tha indifference curve theek hai convex to the origin with a budget line theek hai agar aap iske upar banana chahte ho I C curve. This is good x and this is y. Units of good x, units of good y. Depicts the quantity of good x consumed on the horizontal axis and quantity of good y consumed on a vertical. That we have already made. Question, पढ़ के बनाना चाहिए था. Okay. So you might get opposite. Read कर लेना. Good x को y axis पे भी दे सकते हैं वो. This is the general convention that we take. this by x and y but they might change it because just to confuse you all right so draw a line between the cause this is the cause and the correct consequence of the cause so they've made one line already for us a rise in income a rise in income will lead to a parallel shift outwards of the budget line so basically 
if there is an increase in the income, then your budget should increase now, both for good X and Y. So there should be a parallel shift in the budget line like this. Clear? So Jotam. A shift in the tastes, a shift in the tastes towards Kangya Mira. Cursor Kangya. A shift in the tastes towards X away from Y. So basically people are preferring X over Y. Is my budget line ka kuch impact hoga? So ch lona pehli answers ma deko. I'm just asking you. If the preference is shifting towards this is the very first chapter. If your preference is shifting towards good X, preferences change हो रहे हैं. Budget से तो कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ रहा ना. So budget line में there will be no impact. What are the consequences mentioned? Budget line will become steeper. Budget line में difference नहीं आना चाहिए. Budget line में differences कब आते हैं? When do you get a change in the budget line? When there is a change in the price of good X or Y or both or income. ठीक है? Budget line becomes steeper. नहीं. Budget indifference curve becomes steeper. Steeper मतलब slope ऐसा हो जाएगा maybe कुछ slope ज़्यादा हो जाएगा correct slope will increase so it might be like this है ना और a parallel shift inwards of the budget line parallel shift so obviously we are left with indifference curve and why it will become steeper what is the slope of the budget line sorry what is the slope of the indifference curve additional unit what is indifference curve Number of units, number of units consumed more of Y when you sacrifice one unit of Ulta ya fir, hai na? So yaha pe, yaha pe you are preferring more X. So you will be sacrificing less of X for one additional unit of Y. So it should become steeper, matlab slope should increase na? Because Ulta hota hai. It is units of y by units of x. है ना? तो भी x हम लोग कम decrease, कम देंगे. So slope should increase. It will become steeper. Right? Okay. ठीक है? अरे मैंने क्या? हाँ सही है. Rise in income already दे रखे हैं. Rise in income it will shift outward. Decrease in the relative price of x of y. So if y is decreasing, now you can consume more of y. है ना? So it will be a tilt. कैसे होगा tilt? Correct. Steep हो जाएगा. क्योंकि x का same है, ये वाला same होगा. यहाँ से it should be increasing. Relative price is decreasing. So ऐसा हो जाएगा. You can consume more of y. है ना? Clear? At the same level of income, you can consume more of when you are consuming zero units, यहाँ पे क्या होता है? Zero units of x, so you can consume more of. Okay, so it will become steeper. Very good. Fall in income, ठीक है? Rise in income का उल्टा. Opposite of rise in income. Is it clear? Very simple. So drag and drop match the following. जहाँ पे you can get a cause and consequence. You can get terms and उसका description. So you think you can have more kind of questions. Now you are understanding. They are actually testing your theory. Pura. Har tarikhe se they are testing your theory knowledge. Okay. Last two types which are actually I think a little difficult. 10 and 11 which is your assertion and reasoning. But this is very very interesting and actually I am facing a little difficulty while making these kind of questions. But we have made quite a few questions on assertion and reasoning and it's very interesting. But bohat बहुत ट्रिकी है एंड यू माइट गेट दिस फॉर 2.53 मार्क्स दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच आई एम इंटरप्रेटिंग हो सकता है कम दे बट 2.53 का तो होना चाहिए बिकॉज़ दिस इज नॉट वेरी सिंपल चलो सो दे हैव एक्सप्लेन्ड यू हाउ टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन वेरी इंपोर्टेंट दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट पार्ट सो लेट्स रीड यू आर गिवन एन असर्शन फॉलोड बाय अ रीजन सो असर्शन क्या होता है असर्शन होता है दैट कुछ एक पर्टिकुलर लाइन अ डेफिनेशन और समथिंग विच इज असर्टिव ट्रू नॉट ऑलवेज ट्रू बट एक स्टेटमेंट जस्ट अ स्टेटमेंट असर्टिव इज समथिंग विच इज अ स्टेटमेंट गिवन मे मेड और गिवन बाय समवन इट माइट बी ट्रू इट माइट बी फॉल्स कंसिडर द असर्शन एंड डिसाइड वेदर इट्स ट्रू 
you have to decide the first step is to decide whether the assertion is true or false third step consider the reason and consider whether that is true statement so now consider the reason and consider whether this is true or false so individually is this true is this false is this true is this false individually we have decided once you have decided this individually and then the next very important thing you decide that both the assertion and reason is true if if both are coming as true if decide whether the reason provides a true explanation for the assertion so there it's a three three step process first you have to decide whether the assertion is true or false then you have to decide whether the reason is true or false and then if both are true then you have to decide whether the reason is correct explanation of assertion or not so it's a three step process clear clear all of you because this is the most important type which they have introduced and you might get five to six questions of you know these type of questions and if each question if is for three marks three into five fifteen twenty marks from here straight away shall okay so let's read the statements <coughs> assertion read karte volatility of consumption can be a major factor contributing to the ups and downs of the business cycle business cycle mein jo trend hota hai na there is a a uh, slump in the economy and then again there is a boom in the economy so whether this changes in the business cycle is due to the volatility of consumption and volatility of consumption is a major reason for the changes ye kaun sa chapter hai national income usme hum log ne padha hai na consumption ha to bolo is this true or false sabse pehle bolo hmm आई थिंक नहीं समझेगा ना आई एफ ओ ए हाँ ये किसी ने नहीं भी पढ़ा होगा चैप्टर तो भी वो बोल सकते हैं आंसर बेसिक इकोनॉमिक्स ट्रू है इतना क्या सोच रहे हो इट इज ट्रू ऑब्वियसली ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज कंजम्पन इज द मेजर फॉर वेन योर इकोनॉमी इज इन रिसेशन कंजम्पन इज द लोएस्ट so consumption may changes volatility is changes in consum consumption is a major you know uh, factor contributing to business cycle ups and downs okay so this is true first step done first step done second step so we have yahan pe dekh lo yahan pe you have five options jahan pe assertion true 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 false false so we have first three in dono ko to bhul hi jate hain because it is not false that we have completely decided we are sure about this जरूरी नहीं कि आप हमेशा श्योर रहोगे है ना यू माइट गेट अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट असोटिव स्टेटमेंट नाउ लेट्स रीड द रीजनिंग कंजम्पन इज जनरली द लार्जेस्ट कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ एग्रीगेट डिमांड एग्रीगेट डिमांड क्या था C प्लस G प्लस I प्लस सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ एग्रीगेट डिमांड मीनिंग दैट फ्लक्चुएशन इन कंज्यूमर एक्सपेंडिचर can have a significant impact and business cycle is actually what aggregate demand may change na wo chodo ekdam alag alag padhenge dono ko because they have mentioned the first two steps are completely different so yahan pe obviously this is again true na i don't even want to discuss this ye true hai hai na ye true ho gaya because this is always the most important part of your entire aggregate demand so now when you know both of these are true so you are left with just two options now You are just left with these two. Baki sab ko bhul jao. Now comes the very, very tricky part. Very tricky part. Whether your reason explains the assertion or reason does not explain the assertion. So the assertion is that changes in the volatility or volatility in the consumption is the major reason for the business cycle ups and down. and your reasoning is that consumption is the major part of aggregate demand and aggregate demand is nothing but the change in your business cycle right so definitely in this case your reason explains the assertion but this is not always the case ki aapko itna easy lagega so my answer is a so you will definitely get this of 3 marks 2 se 3 ke beech mein rakhenge is se kam nahi rakhenge wo clear last question last question for today which is again an assertion and reasoning which is again a little difficult 
ये थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट है सो अगेन आई एम नॉट रीजिंग रीडिंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन इट्स द सेम रीड करो एंड ट्राई दिस ऑन योर ओन असोशन रीड करो सबसे पहले सो असोशन इज रियल वेज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रियल वेज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज इक्विलिब्रियम अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड अकर्स वेन द इफेक्टिव कॉस्ट ऑफ फर्म्स कॉस्ट टू फर्म्स ऑफ एम्प्लॉइंग वर्कर्स इंक्रीजेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इक्विलिब्रियम अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड रियल वेज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज नॉट सेम इक्विलिब्रियम अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट क्या होता था स्ट्रक्चरल प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रिक्शनल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट है ना एंड डिस इक्विलिब्रियम क्या होता था डिस इक्विलिब्रियम अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज डिमांड एफिशियंट अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट ठीक है दिस इज अगेन मैक्रो पोर्शन चलो सो इज दिस स्टेटमेंट ट्रू पहले तो ये बताओ इज दिस स्टेटमेंट ट्रू और फॉल्स रियल वेज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज इक्विलिब्रियम अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट वेन वी आर मेकिंग दैट इक्विलिब्रियम वाला एग्रीगेट डिमांड फॉर लेबर एंड एग्रीगेट सप्लाई फॉर लेबर यहाँ पे हम लोग क्या लग, लगाते थे यहाँ पे रियल वेज एंड यहाँ पे हम लोग लेबर बोलते थे सो रियल वेज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज नॉट इक्विलिब्रियम अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट सो दिस इज एनी वे इज अ फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट दिस इज अ फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट चलो अगर फॉल्स हो जाता है ना तो बहुत अच्छा होता है क्योंकि ये थर्ड स्टेप तो करना ही नहीं पड़ता क्या बोला है थर्ड स्टेप इफ योर असर्शन इज ट्रू एंड रीजन इज ट्रू देन टेल मी दैट वेदर इट एक्सप्लेन्स और इट डज नॉट एक्सप्लेन बट इफ असर्शन इज फॉल्स देन सो आई थिंक फॉल्स होना इज द बेस्ट थिंग इफ इट इज फॉल्स देन यू डोंट हैव टू डू द थर्ड स्टेप है ना सो फर्स्ट टू आर गो ऑन एनी वेज सो यू आर जस्ट लेफ्ट विथ दीज टू ऑप्शन द वेज रेट पेड बाय द फॉर्म्स इंक्रीजेज इन लाइन विथ प्राइसेस is it always the case that if inflation increases the wage will increase is it always the case not always the case so kitna cake walk tha kyunki main karwa rahi hu na isi exam mein i will not be there khud se karna padega false very good shantini clear so you will be having these different type of questions kya kya kiya humne multiple choice we have done then multiple response drag fill in the blanks drag and drop Uh, assertive reasoning and numerical type questions. Jahan pe we just have to enter the numerical results. You have to calculate on your calculator and enter it. So these five to six different type of questions that we have covered. All right. Um, 